Hi, I'm Tammy Neon, and today's video is sponsored by Kaki's Cornwall. If you like the video, please check out our other channels and don't forget to like and subscribe. We've come out to the car after pre-coding our X-Horse key in the office. We're going to program it into the car using our X-Horse key tool Max and our X-Horse mini OBD tool. This one needs to go in the car. First, we need to scroll across to the mini OBD tool. You need to scroll across and not use the arrows because they don't work. Then we need to select in my programming. Here we have all the cars we can select, so we need to choose P for Peugeot. P and Peugeot. Here we have four options. Select by type, select by model, replace ECU and password reading. Starting at the bottom, select by type. Here we have different variants of the IMO system and it is quite difficult to navigate to the vehicle you want from this place. Here's select by model. From here, we can select our car. Scroll to 308 and select. And here we have two date choices, pre-2015 and 2015 onwards. Now you'll note that these dates are different from when we originally pre-coded the X-Horse key earlier. This is a 64 plate, so it's a 2014. So in this instance, we're going to choose first 2015 and earlier. Select key programming. Here we have a nice set of instructions as to the process. And at the bottom, start execution. Select the OBD tool. Here we have two other options, read data stream and key programming. Read data stream is the way that it's asking you to find the pin code. So we'll select that first. Switch the ignition on. And press OK. Here we have an error code. It's been unable to collect the pin this way. So we need to exit out of this and try a different method. Back at the date page, we're going to go into the 2015 onwards option. We're going to select key programming. And here we have our instructions for the key programming. And you'll notice that at this point it hasn't asked us to read the data stream, which means it's not going to read the data stream going forward from this point. So we need to come all the way back out to our first set of selections and select password reading. And here we're back at the first page, we're going to select password reading. Here we have three options. Type 1 can, you can use this if you haven't got any keys. Type 2 KWP, which is K-Line, which this car isn't and type three can, which you can use if you have keys, which we do, so I'm going to use type three. We have some instructions, and again, at the bottom, start execution. Read password. It's asking us to make sure the ignition is off. Off. Press OK. And now we need to switch the ignition on, wait for five seconds, and turn it off again. Off. Repeat. There we go. It's come back, and our current password is 9YDK. Press OK. 
and we can come and exit back out of this screen. Back at the first page, we're then going to go and select by model again. Find our 308. And as we know the process didn't work for pre-2015, we're going to select 2015 onwards. Go to key programming. And here we have the instructions. And we're going to press start execution. Now it's asking us to turn on the ignition switch. OK. And enter the passcode. 9YD. OK. This isn't a QWERTY keyboard. <laughs> OK. Now it wants us to turn off the ignition and turn it on within 15 seconds. Off and on. Press OK. Program successfully. Do we want to program in the next one? We do. So we'll press yes. Insert the new key and turn on the ignition switch. Press OK. And that one's programmed successfully too. We don't want to program in another one, so this time we can just press no. Here, it's giving us the steps to program the remote if we need to. First, we'll check to see whether the key starts the car. Which it does! Yes. Excellent. And let's see whether this works. So to program in the remote, what we need to do is insert the key into the ignition and press and hold any button for 10 seconds. It's a lot easier to do this with your second key than trying to fiddle around with the key you're trying to program while it's in the ignition. So using this key, pop it in, turn it on, and press and hold any button on this key for 10 seconds. One, two, three. Turn it off, take the key out, see if it works. Yes, fantastic it does. <laughs> Brilliant. Back to the studio. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below.